So we're out here checking on Bernie Sanders and seeing if he's still got the juice. The challenge is that in a party where all the energy is around diversity and younger voters, he's still a 77-year-old white guy. What's remarkable is that 40 years ago, Sanders was seen as the outsider, super progressive lefty, kind of out of the mainstream. And now today, it's Sanders and his ideas that are really the main framework of the Democratic Party. This is Sanders' first swing through Iowa since he announced. The big question in the dynamic tension is he leading Democrats to the top of the mountain or off the cliff? And if we stand together, do not allow Donald Trump and his friends to divide us up by the color of our skin or where we were born or our sexual orientation. If we stand together as black and white, Latino, Asian American, Native American, if we come together and demand love and compassion and not hatred and racism, if we stand together by the millions, there is nothing that we in this great country cannot accomplish. Let's go out. Let's do it. Thank you very much. We learned a lot last time around. It really is a big difference starting this thing, knowing a little bit more than we did when we started last time. Does it concern you strategically that Donald Trump and Republicans are going to brand Bernie and his followers and if he's a nominee of socialist? No, look. The American people, I mean, the polling showing it, the American people are beyond the red baiting. Uh, they want to hear what the candidate's going to do for them. Bernie Sanders wants to help working class people of all races and bring the country together. That's a fight that I think that all of us would relish. There's a lot of controversy about the kind of the new energy and the uh, uh, Tlaib and, uh, and AOC. Are you worried about disunity in the party? No, look, a lot of new people have come into the party. You know, a lot of them came in in 2016, both the grassroots. Now we saw in 2018 a lot of new people getting elected to the party. So there's like a little bit of time for everybody to come together. But believe me, anybody who's on the Democratic side, they're all very clear. We've got to beat Donald Trump, and they're all going to come together to do it.